AccuTrack have partnered with researcher Lisa Taylor Swanson to study the changes in interoceptive awareness following acupuncture and traditional East Asian medicine treatment. This is an exciting new research project which uses a questionnaire called the Maya 2 to monitor in-depth changes about how a patient feels in their own body. Good day everyone, I'm Dr. Lisa Taylor Swanson. It's a real pleasure to talk with you today about uh, interoceptive awareness. I'm going to give just a brief introduction of what that is and why we're collecting this information with AccuTrack. So interoceptive awareness is basically how we feel our body. So right now I have a little tension in my back, I'm noticing that, but interoceptive awareness also includes our emotional sense of ourselves. So I might feel kind of anxious about, oh, what is that pain? Is it coming back again? Or I might just feel very calm about, oh, there's another hot flash. So interoceptive awareness is literally being embodied. It's how we feel our body. And why is that an important concept for acupuncture and traditional East Asian medicine? Well, I can say as a clinician of 20 years, I've been treating patients in the last decade, I've been researching our medicine. Interceptive awareness, I think is a key mechanism of action. I think it's a part of how acupuncture works. It's a part of how the whole intervention of our medicine with clinicians talking to patients, educating them about their symptoms and self-care, providing acupuncture, cupping, gua sha, what have you. Um, because I think that acupuncture and the whole intervention that we deliver really helps our patients be more trusting of their body, to notice sensations, to not freak out about them, to be um, more uh, balanced in their body, you might say. We're always trying to balance the chi, right? So there we are. So what we're doing with AccuTrack, with our EHR system here, is to utilize a, a measure called the Maya. Uh, it's the Multidimensional Assessment of Interoceptive Awareness Scale. It's validated, used widely. Um, and there are several domains that we think, again, that acupuncture and our intervention as a whole medicine will improve. So uh, the domains of the Maya are noticing. So do we notice that we feel comfortable or uncomfortable in our body? We feel our bodily sensations. If we're able to not distract, if we can actually be with sensation versus, oh, I feel pain, I have to go, you know, it could be distracting ourselves with a really maladaptive behavior like an addiction. Oh, I have pain, I have to go take an opioid. Or I'm anxious, I've got to go eat something. No, we want to help our patients not have to distract themselves and they can just, again, bear witness to be with those sensations, to not worry, to just realize, oh, I'm noticing is another one of the, the domains um, that I was just mentioning, uh, to really be able to regulate their attention, to just be with those sensations, again, to not have to hurry and distract oneself or take one's attention away from the lived experience that is their body. Um, and body listening is another domain. It's actively listening to the body for insight. So, oh, there's that kind of uh, butterfly feeling I have in my stomach again. That's when I know I need to go have something to eat or I'm nervous or something, but they're actively listening to the body. And lastly, trusting those sensations. So, you know, if I have um, pain that I trust that sensation versus getting anxious about it or judging it or that kind of thing. So those are the domains of this measure. Uh, your patients would be answering questions regarding these various domains. Um, so thank you for your attention and we look forward to learning from you and your patients.